everybody, Matt here at Big Red Liquors, and today I have got a pretty cool uh, project that Maker's Mark has just released. This is the limited edition Pacers bottle, and it's got the alternating uh, blue and gold wax dip on it. So they've got the first dip in gold, and then the second dip in that uh, almost navy blue color uh, for the Indiana Pacers, who are doing pretty well this year. So I know if you're a Maker's Mark fan, uh, you probably drink the whiskey, but you're also a collector of their limited edition, uh, different labels and different wax dips over the years. So it's a pretty cool thing. So we've got that same price. Uh, it's a fifth, same price as the regular for $29.99 Maker's Mark limited edition Pacers bottle. So I thought I would take this opportunity since we're talking about Maker's Mark to kind of revisit and review um, what I consider to be one of the classic um, whiskeys from really the seven major Kentucky bourbon distilleries. So uh, it, it, to me, and, and Maker's Mark doesn't have a ton of expression. So I think you really have to go back to this one, the regular Maker's Mark, 90 proof. Um, it's a non-age statement whiskey. So I don't know what the benefit is of sort of speculating, but I've been told anywhere between, you know, four to seven years in age profile. So they don't want um, an extremely oak heavy age profile. They want something that's a little bit lighter um, in expression. So what is Maker's Mark? It's 90 proof Kentucky bourbon. It's a weeder, it's a weeded bourbon. Um, it doesn't have a publicly released mash bill. But again, speculation is that it's, you know, somewhere around the same proportions as like Weller, um, larceny, you know, basically all the weeded bourbons have uh, essentially a close to about the same uh, weeded mash bill uh, in the majors. So uh, this is Maker's Mark. Uh, what is this for? Uh, this is just classic uh, sort of a little bit of tropical fruit, uh, a little bit of yeastiness on the nose, I think. Uh, you can definitely get uh, the beginnings of that oak spice so I'd say sort of soft sort of banana style tropical fruit I do get a little bit of baking spice on the nose maybe like a touch of honey and some sweetness there let's taste it Right there on the palate, you get more of a kick of the oak spice. So the oak is really forward to me in Maker's Mark, even though it doesn't have an age profile, an older age profile. Then you get the fruit notes on the mid palate. Then you get the baking spice uh, and some of the other spices on the finish. So it's oak up front, it's sweet in the middle, and it's spicy on the finish. It's got a relatively quick finish, um, but then it's real bright. It just kind of pops. Um, this this bourbon, I think, for rocks is really great. There was this huge controversy many years ago when they tried to do, I think it was either 84 or 86 proof. They dropped the proof points and they were gonna try to make that a permanent change. Obviously that saved some money for the distillery. I actually thought it was a really nice expression. So I think if you put Maker's Mark, which comes at 90 proof regular, on a big rock or some ice, you're gonna get, uh, to me, a much more pleasurable experience. This has been in my car all night, so it's already pre-chilled pre down. But at a, at a couple of proof points lower, about 35, 45 seconds after that ice cube hits it, that's just gonna be about one of the best uh, sips of whiskey that you've ever had in your whole life. So Maker's Mark, classic Kentucky bourbon made in Loretto, middle of nowhere, literally. Like you, it, there's nothing there. It's worth a visit. I think you'll be astonished by the fact that it, it even exists, that it's even out there. Uh, still a pretty special place. And obviously Jim Beam that has owned Maker's Mark for several decades now has been a fantastic steward of the history of the brand, um, 
you know, the Samuels family is still very involved and very active in stewarding this brand along with Jim Beam. So I think it's set up very nicely to be successful in the future. Um, you know, they've had a handful of missteps and a lot of successes and good for them. At, at the end of the day, the product in the bottles is really all that matters. And this expression is just delicious. Regular old 90 proof Maker's Mark. Cheers.